Welcome to Your Family's Health. This is Dr. Janine Cook Gerard from the nursing department here at NASA Community College. Your Family's Health is a program that focuses on health care issues and resources available here in NASA County. On the show, we will be speaking to experts from around the country to keep you up to date on current health care issues and trends. Today, we will be speaking to Liz Josephsberg on Book Target 100. So if you want to know more about how to stay healthy in Nassau County, stay tuned for the next half hour to the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Welcome to the show, Liz. Hi, thank you. Glad to be here. And you, we're joining uh, two nursing students, Tiffany, as well as Samantha. They're going to also ask you questions about this compelling book. Wonderful. Thank you. May I add that you're our, oh, our weight loss expert? Yes. So tell us, what has inspired you to write this book, Target 100? So I struggled with my own weight uh, for the majority of my life. I was, I was enrolled in diet centers by the time I was 12 uh, and struggled uh, up and down um, and at my heaviest lost 65 pounds. Um, and I did have a career as an actress first, but then transitioned into working in the weight loss industry. So I worked behind the scenes um, at Weight Watchers for 11 years and was helping them uh, design programs. I was a leader in the meeting rooms. Uh, I became their celebrity weight loss expert who helped, you know, people like Jennifer Hudson and Jessica Simpson and Charles Barkley and Katie Couric lose their weight um, to be spokespeople for Weight Watchers. I was also a national spokesperson for Weight Watchers uh, and appeared, you know, did lots of television like Dr. Oz and other um, Oprah and things like that. So I I had quite a long career at Weight Watchers. Um, And then I left Weight Watchers and started my own company and decided to work all across the world in weight loss companies as a consultant getting, um, sort of taking myself from being a Weight Watchers expert into being a weight loss industry expert. Um, So I worked in um, everything from, you know, high-end fitness centers like Lifetime Fitness uh, to um, wearable technology, um, innovative devices that are coming to the market, helping startups, um, working with, you know, just creative and innovative uh, new uh, teams across the world to to create and develop weight loss programs or devices. So uh, as I was doing that work, I and and had been weigh, you know losing weight myself and maintaining a 65 pound weight loss, I wanted to really sort of tell the truth of what I'd learned about weight loss, uh, and that it really. Um, You know, there were so many things that I thought people didn't know uh, about things that were driving them to eat. And if I could just tell them and pull back the curtain that they could have a lot more success. Uh, So I developed the book Target 100 to help people understand that weight loss is much more um, a, a habit and mind game than it is about, you know, food, because I've not really ever met somebody who didn't know that an apple was a better choice than a Snickers bar, but that gap between intention and action uh, was really where I wanted to talk to people about that, what was happening to them, and, and, and round out a program, since I'd been in program design in, you know, in several companies, could I put a more simple program out there that not only talked about food choices and exercise, which is kind of the only place where the diet industry is talking, but could I round it out and start having people understand that if they didn't think about a couple of other things like hydration and sleep and stress and movement even, their daily movement outside of exercise, they were not going to have any long-term success. So it was really my my desire to help people and to alleviate the the physical and emotional pain that I had been in. Um, and if I could help one person, you know, feel better and and understand that that there's nothing wrong with them, that 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 the choices that they're making, they're being set up to make um, by the environment that we live in. That that I would feel that I had truly succeeded. So it was. It was my desire, honestly, to, to, to help people that, that drove this book. 
Uh, can you tell us why you use the number 100 for your weight loss program? Yeah. So I was, um, I after being in, in so many uh, program developments, you know, I, I was behind the, the, the glass in all of these research um, facilities and, and talking to people. And it was really once I realized that weight loss, when someone was successful, it was because they had created their own program that they hadn't just blindly followed um, a, a, a one-size-fits-all program, but they had really discovered that they liked Pilates and they were vegetarian and they needed to have six mini meals a day and they needed eight hours of sleep. It was because they'd actually customized and found out what their 100 was. So I wanted people to really learn through my book what their 100% is, what makes them feel their best. And um, the number 100 for me, it just kind of it hit me one day that I wanted people to start watching carbohydrates because all of the bad stuff with our food, the sugars that are being pumped into things and the manipulation of grains and things like that, they were all happening in this carbohydrate piece. So the first 100 in the book is to pull your carbs back to 100 grams, uh, about uh, around 100 grams of carbs a day. And that was sort of my first, um, my first 100. And I was like, you know, I, I love this. If, if I could make a program simple around one number that you didn't have to think about. So it was 100 grams of carbs. And then I was like, Hydration is critically important. If I could get people drinking 100 ounces of water a day, if I could get them exercising 100 minutes a week, moving 100 minutes more per week, stress relieving 100 minutes per week, and sleeping 100 extra minutes per week, that I could dramatically improve their overall health and I could reverse health conditions like diabetes and prediabetes. So um, once I realized that I could structure a, a very simple program around that number, additionally helping people to understand that I want them to be their 100%, not mine, you know, and, and figuring out, well, maybe, you know, Liz has taught me to get to 100 minutes of exercise, but for me, I really need 130. So I'm going to keep using the tools that she taught me to get me there. So that 100 just became this simple kind of wonderful metaphor um, that, dri that drives the, the program piece of the book. Does it take a lot of time prepping for lunch, like for hot food or cold foods You know, with this I target? I try to really help people understand that um, there actually there are recipes in the book even that, that echo this. Um, I try to get people, if you're going to make something to make double of whatever it is and to make them sim very, very simple. Um, so if people end up following me on Facebook or um, you know Instagram or anything like that, you're going to see that I'm coaching you on really simple meal ideas and I, I, I tell all of the people that work with me, and, and I write this in the book, there's, there are lots of worksheets in the book for you to actually develop your own meal plans because you have to eat what you love, right? Yeah. So I have you sit down and, and think about five breakfasts, five lunches, and five dinners that fit your lifestyle. Now I'm thinking of myself and, you know, I happen to love for lunch, I love a little low-carb wrap with turkey and some guacamole, a little romaine lettuce and tomatoes in there, um, and maybe a little cheddar cheese. It's a great lunch for me, some sliced apples. It should be simple. And by the way, we all eat the same things over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. So I have you do this 555 worksheet because... You know, I love that lunch. I probably eat it three times a week. Then I've got these other five on there. You know, I've got five total that I just kind of cycle through. So I try to keep it very simple for people and teach them to eat what they love in the right portion and make it easy. The recipes in the book, too, are doubled, right? So if you're going to go so far as to make... Um, a chili. I often tell people, you know, make the double batch of it and then portion it out into single serve containers and freeze them. So that's kind of how I live and maintain my weight is, you know, like tonight I'm, I'm running until seven o'clock. By the time I get home, I, I don't have time to cook, but I do have time to pull out one of those, throw together a salad and, and have a simple, easy meal that's already ready. 
you have to weigh your, the food that you cook? Uh, no, but um, portions are always going to be important, right? So uh, if you're thinking through, if you're counting your carbs in something, the you know, if you had four ounces of something, it would be a certain amount of carbs if you had six ounces of something. What I find um, works better than actually weighing and measuring food, which can be very overwhelming for people, mm -hmm. is to work with the smallest plates that they have in the house and fill at every meal, fill half of that plate with fruits or veggies, completely filled. And then a quarter of that plate should be that lean protein. And then a nice portion can be a healthy fat. And then a teeny tiny piece of the plate is a carb. So it's easier, and there's a really nice visual that we did in the book um, for you to see that, but that by, by doing that, you automatically, by just filling that plate with fruits and vegetables and a quarter of it with your protein, you'll be within shooting distance of four to six ounces, which is kind of where you want to end up. You mentioned Weight Watchers, um, and one of the key components of Weight Watchers is the support of groups that they provide to kind of keep you on track. Or you kind of talk about what you ate. How, how does your program differ, or, or does it at all? So I actually wrote in the book um, that support and accountability are probably the most important piece of a weight loss program. Um, and I wrote into the book actually a 10-week program that you could do with your friends and family to support one another. Because so when I was working at Weight Watchers, um, you know, as I worked with Jennifer Hudson, I knew that if her friends and family weren't supportive of her, she was going to fail. So what we did was we got 75 of her family members on the program with her across the country. We had three big meetings going in Mississippi and Indiana and Chicago and 75 people lost 2,000 pounds and we ended up on Oprah because of it. Um, and it was, we did the same thing. I did the same thing with Jessica Simpson. I'd go and meet with her in her living room and 16 of her friends and family came every week and we created that support and accountability. With Target 100, I have created that same idea in that what I see working even better than the Weight Watchers model of, you know, going into a center with a bunch of strangers is when you actually involve the people closest to you in your life, your friends, your family members, and do it, you know, in your living room and work together. So I wrote a 10-week book club into the book. So if you get the book and you love it and you invite 10 friends or family over to your house, I've outlined exactly what you should do with each other because these are the people that you're going to be eating with. These are the people who you need to begin to change the way you do your, you know, holiday festivities and um, change the way that you interact with one another and start to support each other and go walking with each other and begin to exercise together. That, when you get the core group around you, there's even research to support this, that when your friends and family begin to lose weight or gain weight, it could be negative or positive. There's research around this is that you will inevitably go in that direction, whether it's gaining or losing. So we are, as friends and family, we are the biggest influence uh, on one another. So as I say, if you do end up with this book, the ultimate thing for you to do is to create this um, accountability and support around yourself. Now, if you don't want to go so far as to have a meeting to create that support. I also write a lot about how amazing social media and just the, 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 the internet is at this point to create those groups or to get into some of these amazing, you know, private Facebook groups that are, you know, doing whatever it is that you're doing at, at that time. Um, there are just, there's just hundreds of them. And if you just search, you know, weight loss on Facebook or Instagram, these, these people, amazing people who are doing amazing things. Um, you know, as I say, like I'm on Facebook pretty much every day and I'm bringing you into my house. I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm teaching you how to do it. And you can use um, this amazing kind of social media account and accountability and support as well if you don't do it just friends and family. Well, it's a good time for a break, Liz. And we're going to...